Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, Jesse here. Thanks for tuning in to another Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. Looking at the brand new Darth Vader from Rogue One. Um, these are just sort of hitting a few stores around the world. Um, seen them dropping in, in, in the States and uh, a few specialist stores that have picked them up here in Australia. So very thrilled to have the new Vader. He's looking pretty cool. I love the card. Love the Rogue One logo. He is number 178. The figures on the back. Uh, I do have uh, Moff Gideon and the Armourer. And should have the Mando this week. Um, but yeah, those two I have on pre-order, so I'm not sure when they're going to come in. Um, skipping on the Rex, and I have reviewed those three already. So definitely go back and check those out if you haven't already. You look at him in the in the bubble there. You know, nice, another another nice reason to put a Vader out. You know, it's been I don't know how long it's been since we've had a Vader uh, in the vintage collection. It's been quite a while, so um, yeah, excited to open this one up and check it out. So let's do exactly that. All right, so here is the Dark Lord himself. Now this is a pretty cool figure. I'm still undecided how much I really like it. Um, I expected them to use quite a few elements from the, uh, what is this, 2012 A New Hope Vader, and uh, they have, they've they've used the arms and the legs again, and from, to that point I'm assuming probably, no, it looks like they've got a new torso on it, but the legs are pretty much the same, same sculpt anyway, uh, a little bit of a different treatment with the, uh, with the paint apps. Um, Standing them side by side, the new one's a little bit short. I feel. Um, I think the head sculpt's better. I think that's an improvement. Uh, but yeah, height-wise, if we go back to back, um, yeah, it's a little bit short. Um, but yeah, still really do like this Vader from A New Hope. But uh, you know, makes sense that they reuse some parts because um, it is basically the same Vader. Um, new helmet is a nice addition i think that's really nicely done nice gloss paint um some may say it's a little too glossy but um they still went with the the painted the three elements here on the top of the cheek i'm going to zoom up see if we can get a closer look but it is yeah very reflective like i said um so you got that top of the cheek that cheek and that side of the mouth breather guard there they've done that on the silver paint just to sort of pick up those reflections like they did in the in the film um add a few more details like the gray on the on the shoulder armor there whereas this one they left it left it black so that's welcome um i actually like the new addition of like the non-soft goods on the torso there and down through the bottom uh the cape itself leaves a little bit to be desired it looks good um it has a stitch line there um so i am actually going to add some wire to that just so i can just so i can pose it i think it'll look a lot better because it just sort of dangles and doesn't flow all that well um but yeah a, threading a wire through there will will tip this one over i think uh yeah so this is again this, these new sort of tabards that come down over his chest are individual elements um, there is a split in the side there so you're not hindering articulation super super great deal um, still get some movement out of it I do miss the days when well, it looked like that for a while there that we're going to start doing the swivel cuts in the thighs um, on three three quarter inch figures they have done it with a few this is one that I think would benefit from that if they had given him new legs and put a swivel cut there underneath the, the ball jointed hips I think that would be a great advantage and I uh, also think a swap out fist um, so you can really um, you know get that but I'm pretty sure there is a Vader figure somewhere with a fist I just need to look through my accessory box so I may switch that out um, but yeah the more I look at it the more I like it um, yeah just that scene in Rogue One was brilliant uh, I know the carded fans are going to love having this guy stay on the card because he looks fantastic and I'm 
I'm probably going to get another one myself, just because I really love that card image. That was just such a badass moment in that film. Uh, looking over the back. Yeah, I uh, I really like it. I like the red eyes. Um, I, I do believe that they're not intentionally meant to be bright red like that. It's just sort of... It was what it was. It's meant to reflect... Uh, sort of darker darker light but it's all right um but yeah looking on camera here is uh the helmet is very reflective <laughs> um but aesthetically i think this figure looks good um nice upgrade for the rogue one shelf or your new hope shelf it doesn't really matter um but yeah the three and three quarter one we got was was actually pretty nice um but yeah we can never have enough vaders <laughs> apparently uh, we'll go through the articulation actually so he's got a just a swivel swivel head that's on a ball joint there um, shoulder articulation and elbows uh, sort of forearm with the gloves uh, there's probably a little bit of movement there in the in the waist but not a great deal ball hinged hips uh, knee joints and ankles so pretty much got everything you need. Like I said, those swivel cut swivels at the thighs, like the the six inch figures do have, would aid figures like this a great deal. Um, but yeah, if he was a little bit taller, so I've just got them resting on my finger at the same height there. A little bit taller, I think it would uh, just uh, top it off just a little bit. But that's all right. That's fine. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, always enjoy picking up Vaders. It's always... They always do something different with them. Most of the time. <laughs> Sometimes they don't. Um, yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, yeah, appreciate any feedback and comments below. If you like the video, please like. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. got plenty more reviews and... Star Wars content coming up, so stay tuned. Until then, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.